right? Ashley just unloaded on me with questions. Let's see what I can answer in three minutes. So Ashley's asking, uh, number one, can mold contribute to the common cold or flu becoming an infection, bacterial, bronchitis, strep, etc.? So yes, when you have mold exposure and you're living in mold, we see this especially with kids, uh, when they get a common cold, <clears throat> it just doesn't seem to go away. It lasts longer than uh, other families with the same thing do. Okay, so while another family's kids might be um, better in four or five days, your kids are taking two weeks, three weeks. That's a sign of the immunosuppression, the immunodepression from the mold. So it makes it harder because their immune system is low. <clears throat> and this is something I see on the gut zoomer test. Excuse me, I don't know what I just ate, but it's stuck right there if you're wondering. Uh, the gut zoomer measures the secretory IgA, and that's the immune strength of your gut. And when I see people have been living in mold for long, that just falls way down under range. Like I think the range is between 450 and 1200. So a normal healthy person, you're going to see just over a thousand. And I had someone submit one or didn't submit one. It, the results came in a few days ago, and I, I don't remember who. Obviously, I wouldn't say their name, but I don't remember if it's a child or adult, I should say, but it was down in the 100s. So their immune system was a tenth, literally a tenth of what it should be. And uh, that's why I love that. I love that lab. It gives us so much data about gut inflammation, digestion, opportunistic pathogenic bacteria. Uh, anyway, uh, so yes, to make a long story longer, yes, it absolutely contributes to making these infections dig deeper and you lack the immune resilience, the immune strength, the immune robustness to get over these in a normal amount of time. So they can get worse or just hang on longer. Um, number two, can you detox from mold? Yes, and I haven't edited it yet, but I, so I don't know the number, but whatever number this is, go back five or six or so, and, or look at the pinned post that has the directory of all the um, videos and one of them is a basic bare bones outline of first steps of mold detox. Number three, can you recover from the damage done? Yes, absolutely. Well, it depends how long you're in it. If you're, if you've been living in it for 50 years and you have severe health conditions, you're probably going to still have some issues at the end, but can you make a giant gain in health and how you feel? Absolutely. The younger kids can bounce back 100%. Yep. Again, it all depends. What are the molds? What are the concentrations? How long were you in it? What are your genetics? What was your protocol? So we have all these variables that dictate, but done properly, you can undo a lot of damage. And in some instances, you can uh, get back to feeling the way you did before. All right. I hope that helps, Ashley. Do you have questions about mold in your home or body? Book a consultation with Matt, a.k.a. The Mold Man, to guide your home and body to the next level of healing. 